hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be covering about how can we use parameters in jenkins freestyle job why do we need parameter and the simplest answer is that you can uh, change the flow of an entire pipeline using parameters and uh, you can use parameters to work dynamically instead of defining things hard code or statically so without getting any delay let's get started so here you can see in the jenkins i have this job uh, my freestyle job and uh, to add parameters you have to first click on the job then you have to hit the configure option and then you have to look for an option named as this project is parameterized in our case it is right here so you just have to click this checkbox and save the changes and the project is parameterized so far we have not define any parameters so it won't be using that we have multiple type of parameters let's say we have string type we have multi line string we have files we have uh, password type of credentials then we have uh, boolean type of credentials so we will be covering each of them in the same video let's get into the action again go back to the configuration of the job and then look for then look for this option this project is parameterized so earlier we did not define any parameter so it get unchecked automatically so to add a parameter in the job we have to hit this drop down add a parameter and uh, here we have a bunch of options to select which type of parameter we want to add to this job before going there on Jenkins after each option you have this little question mark that basically helps you in understanding what this option is doing and how can you use that so if I click this one it, it says bunch of information about why you should use parameter and how you should use and uh, as it mentioned that every parameter has a name and some sort of value based on the parameter type and it can be utilized with the dollar or whatever the parameter name in Linux and for Windows percent percentage symbol and whatever with the parameter name similarly uh, it says that build now button will be replaced with build with parameters once we define some sort of parameter in our job we will encounter this soon and then we have a bunch of other options so this is basically the help you can take from Jenkins side now let's start with adding parameters and I will be starting with adding a boolean parameter so hit on add parameter and select the boolean parameter option so again we have these question mark that will basically define what are what type of values it will be having and what actually boolean parameter is so boolean parameter basically means that value can either be true or false and uh, on the UI it will be like a checkbox if you take if you click on it it will be turned green uh, quite similar like this now uh, name so what name we want to give this parameter so let's say test bool param so this is the name which I am giving to this uh, parameter so now the next option which we have is set by default again you can use these question mark to take the help so set by default option basically specify that if user is not providing any values then what value should be assigned to this name so let's say we are setting that by default the option should be so here if I click this button it means it's true if I remove it it means the value is false by default in my case I want the value to be true by default and let's set the description as uh, description for bool parameter so this is all about adding a boolean parameter now to use the same in our build steps we have to copy the name which we have given to the parameter and uh, again I'm using shell so I am removing all these steps and just doing a echo and this is how you access a variable in shell script you do not have to worry about more just remember that use the dollar symbol and whatever the name you are giving and echo is just to display the same in the console so let's save the changes and now you see that the option build has has changed to build with parameters so as I hit on the same you see it is asking that okay this job requires parameters and this is the name of the parameter and this is the description for the parameter which we added and the default value for the same is true as it is checked so let's build it open the console and if I check the console you see it is displaying echo and then whatever the value I passed for the boolean parameter which is true now let's run it with uh, uncheck 
which means uh, false value let's uncheck it and build it and if i open the console of 11th job you can see it is saying false that's how you can use a boolean parameter now let's move towards adding another parameter add parameter option so you can add as many parameters you want in a jenkins job and they can be of similar type so we will be adding choice as our next parameter so again add parameter hit the choice option again you can take the help if you want to and the name will be of course the name which we will be giving and we we have to use the same in the build steps so, so let's say test and let's set the description as well test now here i can define what are the choices which will be given to the user and during the build with parameter option they will be shown in form of a drop down so i can say let's say uh, choice one will be the first one then okay i can say choice one will be the first one similarly i can give other choices as well uh, it's kind of an select a single from multi-line during the build process you have you can choose one of these options let's see that now uh, before going that let me print it in the in the console so let's add another echo let's apply the changes and uh, let me open it in the new tab and now if i hit the build parameter option you see i have my choice parameter right here and i can choose all any values which i am giving in the configuration part the only thing to remember is that we have to add a new line for every single choice we are adding here so let's say choice three and let me build it so the job is building and 12th one will be the current console so if we check here you see it is selecting choice three as its value so that's how you can use a choice parameter in jenkins now let's move forward and add a credential parameter so a credential parameter basically only print the id of a specific credential it will note fetch the values from uh, credential section we will be displaying how can we use uh, in form of parameters uh, soon but as of now let's just do that id part uh, go to credential parameter name it as test cred we can even define that what kind of credential we will be using in this parameter in our case we have a username with password credential added when we added agent you can check out the video if you do not know how to add a credential it will be somewhere in the i button and again we can make it compulsory or optional so i'm selecting the credential which i have added and let's apply the changes okay dollar test grad parameter and now you see it has this uh, option with test grad parameters and again i can change the value from here as well but that is the default value which i select and let me build it uh you can see that it is displaying linux hyphen agent which is the credential id for the credential which we have selected so that's how you can use credential parameter for getting the ids let's see how can you use use a actual credential in a jenkins job so for that you have to again select the job you have to go back to the configuration of the job and now here you have to look for uh, this option name as use secret text or files so as you hit this button it will ask you for the bindings again feel free to use the question mark for getting all the help you needed binding basically means that okay what will be the name and what credential you want to bind with this name so let's bind our username and credentials here and uh, so you can bind any type of passwords you have with whatever the variable name you want to define here in our case we have username and password so we will be adding that and uh, let's use the separated ones so for password we have like joined option and separated option this basically means that if i will be creating a joined binding it means that there will be a single variable name let's say test password parameter uh, here we have selected the credential which we have now you might say that okay this can reveal all the secrets which we have so here jenkins basically add star 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 in the console log but it will not print the actual credential in the log so let's print it here as well and test pass parameter to rebuild our job we can remove the password parameter if we do not want to use the id somewhere so 14th is the console then you see here it is adding star 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 instead of displaying what actual value we have Similarly Similarly, for uh, uh, for like separate, we will be having an option to pass what will be the variable name for uh, username and what will be the variable name for passwords. See that as well once. So here you see uh, username. Let's say test password parameter uh, user and let's say here we can say so let's we can use both or we can remove any of them dollar password apply run with parameter and if i check the console of this one uh, you can see like it is displaying one for user one for password 
but again it will not reveal anything so that is how you can utilize your credentials in the build step now let's back towards adding another parameter the next parameter which we have is the file parameter so we can basically define uh, a file during the build execution and Jenkins will upload that file in the workspace and we can later on use that uh, file to do anything it can be a configuration file it can be any type of file so let's say here we have to basically define the variable name for the same again let's say test test file parameter and description will be for description for test file parameter uh, let me add the echo here echo and uh, let's apply the changes and uh, again build the project so here you will see that it is asking me to select a file from my machine if i hit this and let's say i am adding this uh, current videos uh, thumbnail and let me build it and here you will see that it is giving me the file name which i selected and if i go to the workspace of the job which in my case is under dot jenkins then workspace then the file uh, then the job directory and here as you see i have this uh, png uploaded here if you want to know more about workspace you can check out the previous video about uh, the workspace which will again be hovering somewhere in the i button the next option which we have is to add a multi-line string parameter here i can define a parameter that is holding more than one line so let's say line one let's add it in the build step so that it will be displayed apply the changes uh, build the project here you can see i am getting the default values and i can pass as many lines i want here and let me build it and let's check the console you can see it's for build 18 and see i am getting line 1 line 2 and line 3 here next we have is the password parameter so in password parameter we can pass a parameter while building the job but here the thing is that it will reveal the password directly uh, in the console so i'm not sure what is the use case of this thing but uh, let's try it and default value can let's set it as uh, one two three four five for example description for this let me apply the changes echo and this and here you see that it is not displaying me the default value here and i can pass whatever i want here as well but i'm not gonna change it and let's build it so if we check the console of the 21th build you can see it is directly displaying here so i'm not sure what use case of this parameter is if you are using any secrets feel free to use the method for adding the secret text now the next parameter which we have is a run parameter so run parameter basically help us in getting the url of any jenkins job and it will basically define a variable whatever the name which we will be giving based on the value of this uh, filter which we will be giving if we are selecting old build it means it will be giving the url of the last execution of any jenkins job which can be running stable or anything and if i select the filter as completed build then it will store a url of last completed build of whatever the project i will be specifying here in this name so let's see how it works here i can define the jenkins job whose url i want in my case i have just one job so let's say my freestyle as i type my it is automatically showing me the project so let's select this description for the run parameter and let's say only display the con completed build and uh, let me print it here let's apply the changes let me build the project so here again also you can like check that you want the url of which build in the build step let's i want to let's say i want to use the url of 17th build and as i hit the build you can see the console of 12th uh, build it is exported and it is getting displayed so we can use this parameter to either fetch artifacts from older builds or from any other project in jenkins the next parameter we have is uh, the string parameter and this is last parameter which we have which comes by default we can add multiple plugins to have different kind of parameters if required but in most of the cases these are sufficient now let's add a string parameter which will be test str parameter so the difference between multi string and string parameter is that here you can only pass a single line string uh, line i cannot type multiple lines 
uh, in this parameter that is why we have the multi string line parameter so let's say test value now let me add it in the build step as well for the displaying purposes echo dollar and test string parameter let me apply the changes let me build the project and here you will see i cannot even pass the multiple line uh, even during the build as well as i hit the build button i'm getting the 23rd build and in the console output you can say it is printing that value which i pass that's pretty much for how you can specify and use parameters in jenkins freestyle job if you like the video feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends and if you have any questions drop a comment in the comment box and thanks for watching